Well guys, welcome back to another farm sim vid. This may be like one of the last videos we do. Sad. We're counting down the days till farm sim 2022 comes out. But anyways, I bought an abandoned house and you might be able to see it over there, like way over there. That thing was an old hoarder's house. They hoarded old Chevys, a bunch of old Chevys. And somebody came and bought them all, but the house is literally just abandoned. It's a mess outside. It's actually kind of clean house out on the outside, besides for all the trash and stuff. So we're going to clean that place up. It's kind of weird, because boss, I'm hiring boss to go work on the house with his landscape company to tear it down. But I'm working for boss. For Buck. I call boss Buck. What's up, boss? Oh, hey, bud. How you doing? Good. Truck looks clean. Are we going to go clean out your house today? Yeah. Can you turn that thing on? I'm a little thirsty. Just spray it at me. Yeah, fresh, fresh garden hose oh, water. I'll take the chainsaw too. Yeah, yep. there you go. Yep, yep, there you go. Nice hose water. Okay. Like cleaner than half the stuff coming out of the water tower. <laughs> okay, are well, we ready to roll? I'd say so. Which uh, which one do we want to bring out? We want to bring out the Kubota set or the... I need the um, Kubota, the Kubota and the Ripper. I want to rip that ground and then probably a mower. But that's what I'm saying. Do you want to bring the Kubota setup or do you want to bring out the X Mark setup? We got both of them basically loaded on the trailer, ready to go. Well, let's take a look at them. Ladies first. You still didn't fix that squeaky door? Nah, WD-40 ain't gonna do the cut. What about this? I mean, if you want to cut through a metal door, be my <laughs> no, guest. Sure, I'm just messing. Okay. Oh, oh, we're standing on the door frame. <laughs> there we go. We'll take the X Marks. X Marks are loaded up. We'll save the photos okay. for the residential. X mark will be for the aggressive stuff. Well, either way, we also got, I think I still got some Roundup left in that tank. So if we wanted to spray a little bit, we could. Heck, that'll work good then. I'll open the door. You uh, jump in the Chevy. People, this is the only time you'll ever see me be happy in a Chevy. Soak it in while you can. There you go. I'll shut the door behind you. And don't let the heat out. Yeah. It's a cold one. So what trailer can I take? What do you mean? They're, uh, the Kubota. It doesn't have a trailer. Oh, basically take any other that you want. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Do I get to drive the 250? Take whatever truck you want. I really don't care. Sweet. I'll see you at the place. Yeah, we'll see you, Buck. And we should be good. It's hooked up. Okay, we'll pop the garage door open and we'll get uh, we'll get the Kubota out. I'm hoping to use this to rip up all the bushes. There's a ton of bushes. There's a ton of overgrown stuff. And then what we can do is seed new grass. It works perfect for hoarder houses. Hey, Buck, you on the CB? Yeah, I should be. Hey, uh, are you there already? Yeah. Okay, I'm on my way. Anything else you need before I leave? Diet Coke? Sprite? Water? No, I, sh I should be good. I'm actually going to get started mowing, at least on the outside of this stuff. Okay. The grass out here is pretty tall, so I'll be out there on the X mark. Okay, I'm rolling on down. All right, sounds good, bud. Looks like Buck's already going. Try and back up here without getting in Buck's way. So I bought this house at auction last week. Well, closed on it last week, bought it three weeks ago for $200,000. I think the house is worth more than that, but nobody wants to buy it because it was an old hoarder's house. There's literally bushes everywhere. And it was an old guy that lived here and his son just decided to put a mobile home right in their front yard just randomly. So now we got a mobile home here that we got to move out of the way. It's not that bad besides there's a lot of couches and stuff too, I guess. But other than that, it's... It's not too bad of looking. Well, box ripping with the Kubota and I'm doing some mowing. And we're trying to figure out the best way to kind of clean this up. He's gonna go around and hit, hit the tough areas, the bad areas. And I'm just uh, gonna keep mowing here. We're starting to get her done. We've got a couple trees to take down. Gotta somehow get the mobile home. So I don't know how on earth you wanna get that mobile home out of here. Oh, this is some nasty crabgrass stuff in here. Let's just run a U-Haul. You're not wrong. <laughs> I seen some you guys on YouTube were, did it. I think I might have noticed what you're talking about. They're like what transporting that thing almost tipped it over the edge or something. Oh yeah. This has got some nasty bushes back in here. Take them out. I want them all gone. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get to the roots of one of them. It's right underneath the deck. Hey, she's looking good. I say I got it about done. I might have to take that pole out there to get the one on the under the laundry thing because I can't get this thing under there. Well, shoot. Uh, Let's just rip I'm it not out. touching those. I say I'm not touching those tidy whities. You get to do that <laughs> job. Oh gosh. Anything knows what that's in that. 
No. Oh gosh, there's some pink ones. Uh, well, I mean, that's probably a very. Oh, that is a crusty towel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can hear a crinkle. No, no, that is against all rules. Well, I mean, it should just pop right out of the ground. And, and what? These things aren't buried in concrete, are they? My head's against that underwear. Ah, ah. Yeah. Wait, wait, hang on. There's a shirt with a face on it. Face? I did not notice that. Why are their clothes paper thin? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna yank this thing out. Okay, you got it. <laughs> there you go. Get it. Okay, you wanna take the bush out? Yeah, I got it. And there we go. I mean, if I were you, Two. I would. Uh, I would say just throw it on top of the capri, maybe. Wait a sec. Did you find the keys for the capri? Are they in it? They're in it. Uh, I got Dumb and Dumber going on here. <laughs> Should we crank her over? I'll give her a couple pumps. I'm hang coming. on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Pop the hood, pop the hood. There you oh. go. Well, we kind of got a rat's nest. Clean it out. We should be good after that. Yeah. It, it sounds like yeah. it want to go. I'm going to crank her. Hang on. I got some ether in the truck. I'm going to give her. I'm going to give her. There we go. There she goes. She lives. She lives. <laughs> Drop her in gear and let's roll. Oh boy. I, 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 I. You should keep the bag and wagon, man. Okay, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Honestly, I'd keep the house too. Just turn it into like a, a an office or something. I'll, uh, I'll load the Capri up here. Send her! Oh, come on! Hang on, hang on! Push, on, push, book! There you go! Uh, come on! I'm giving Do her! No, you're not! Yeah, I am! There you go! There we go. Okay. Buck, what do you say? Do we keep the tree or no? Honestly, I would look at the sunshade. It's, yeah. it's eight in the morning and you got no sun in the house. True, true. Uh, we gotta plant this. You stay here. I can go run and pick up that roller for you. Okay. Uh, do you care if I take the Chevy? Go right ahead. Should be fine. Keys are in it. Okay. Uh, oh, take the starter. Take the starter fluid. I kind of forgot about that. Starter fluid. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna finish up mowing the rest of this quick. Yep. This Duramax, it's got the 6.6 .6 liter turbo. I kind of like it. It's a good looking truck, especially when it's on this trailer. Like, this thing looks good. Buck's not too big a fan, but Chevy's, Duramax's, they're coming around. We'll park the trailer right here, got her unattached, just gotta drop the tailgate, and we should be good. I think we're gonna hook up to one of Buck's other trailers back here. Tilt deck, that should work. Got the land ruler back there, they loaded up for me, and we should be to buck in about two, three minutes. There we go. Should work. I'm gonna drop the ripper off and then we'll just hook up to that. We should be good. What kind of sod did you get over there, buddy? Some Kentucky bluegrass. Ooh. So I guess I'll just be Bobby Boucher and I'll see you back at the shop. I'm going to take the mower. <laughs> you can load it on the ramp. Well, guys, she is officially done. I'm just watering the new plants we put in. Everything's looking good. Just got to pick up the ripper. But oh, yeah. Look at that. Rental house. Well, we got to figure out how to get all this equipment back and stuff, but seriously, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this hoarder house adventure with me and Buck. But anyways, guys, as always, Rocket Rental Landscaping out. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.